Hi everyone, this is Nikki Jameson here again and I'm back with another Coriel Painter 2023 brush exploration stroke demo and today we're going to look at the Artists Oils or rather it's called Oils Artists which are some of the brushes that come as default in Coral Painter. So you can watch some of my past videos and you'll know that um, what I'm doing is going through some of these brushes that come with Corel and trying to keep to the ones that actually come as default as opposed to the ones that I purchased. Although we might wander into some of the Corel ones that I've purchased because you can easily get those as well. And I'm going through them to explore what they do so that if I use them later in my paintings, I'll know what they do. So I hope that you can pick up some information and something useful so that you will be able to use these brushes as well. So I've set up my canvas here and I have set up uh, a, a canvas is white at the moment. I rarely start with a white canvas because I find it very intimidating uh, to start with a white canvas. I much prefer starting with something dark with some light colors on top or starting with a texture but we've got a white canvas here. Um, and the first brush we're going to look at is smeary, smeary bristle. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to have the general brush controls open as well. Um, so that if I need to calibrate any of these brushes, like so, I can do so uh, easily. And I will also try and reset brushes to their default. So calibration of a brush is something that you should do whenever you use any brush because what it will do then is it it will um, pick up the the sensitivity and the pressure of your own painting type so this is a smeary bristle and i rather think that this is um this is a is a blending brush it might be a blender because it doesn't lay down a ton of paint i have reset this i think so it's very um you have to press I have to press really hard to to get this stroke so that tells me that it's probably a smeary um a blender brush it's a camel it's a camel hair brush so you can see the recipe of the brush here it's a single cover um and with any of these brushes you can you can change them change the method change the recipe and you can come up you can come out with um different brushes so let's move on to the next one which is fan I have a feeling that these may be okay so fan let's set this one as, as default so this is a very nice uh, brush and these are oils so they're going to be very very oily let's let's do something semi-normal here i usually do the strokes all over the place uh, just where i start so this is a fairly basic brush i think it's very oily it's kind of chiseled um, uh, this doesn't have reset abilities but you can change how much it blends so let's turn that up and see what happens so yeah it's blending a little bit more let's see what happens if we add in a color yeah so if I pick up a color and add that it will it will blend it most blending brushes work with the paint that's already on the on, on the paper and do their thing with that all right, let's move on to the next one. And I should add that, um, I don't know, um, or I haven't used these brushes in a while, so I may not know what, what they actually do or how they actually behave. So this is an education for me as well. So this is not uh, pre, it's not pre-recorded or anything. I'm actually exploring the brushes as I, as I do this. Okay, so this is called flat. I'm just gonna reset it. To its default so it's a basic painting brush with uh, an edge it's very uh, expressive and the idea is that you use these um, brushes in this in, in this pack and obviously you can use other brushes as well but you can lay down paint and then you can probably use I don't know maybe the smeary bristle to go back and blend these brushes or any of the brushes we've actually looked at previously so you know you could use something like the rough oil or the rough edge oil but this is blending the smear bristle, bristle is blending this paint 
it's not actually laying any extra down it's actually just blending the paint that's there so that's useful to know um flat tapered and we will reset that let's do this down here let's just pretend that we're doing some kind of earthy things here so flat tapered is a really quite an expressive brush here it's uh i guess you could use this for doing trees or leaves it would be good to sketch it actually it's fairly loose it's a fairly loose brush it has a taper if you see that and it is flat hence the name and i think we reset it yeah so it's very interesting it's it's as you press you get more paint i'm not pressing hard actually let's see what happens if i recalibrate this one so this is after recalibrating this brush i'm doing a very very soft stroke here and it's in fact it's actually picking up some of the color that's already there that's very interesting sometimes when you're actually painting or you're doing a painting the tendency is it's an oily short the tendency is to go to the brushes that that you've used over and over again and i have many many brushes that i do that with so hence i've never I haven't really used these ones to the best of my ability and I may never do do that but I think this is very useful a useful exercise for me to find out oh these brushes are here you know this blending brush could work or maybe I want to alter them later and build my own brushes okay so this is the oily short I guess you could do short strokes with this and Interestingly, these ones, I have to look up what this recipe of these brushes are because they don't have a reset, but they do have a, a blend quotient that you can move up and down. So, this is very interesting. Okay, oily shorts, seen that one, oily filbert. And these do have blendability. So, this, this, this orangey yellow. Um, thing that you see in the stroke here means that these brushes can also are also blenders or well, they have some blending ability so this is a really nice um, oily brush I don't think I reset that or the last one quite frankly if I reset it this is what it does you actually get more paint and if I turn I think it's blending with the media there I turn that down it doesn't make a lot of difference actually okay not sure what to think about that one but it's an oily filbert so uh, broad clumpy let's have a look so this is a wet oily brush it's almost like a marker that's interesting Uh, the blend here is like 14% so clearly these have blending ability built in to some extent so I don't know if I wanted to do a sunset I just sampled that I can fill up my page like that but you see this is this is already blending this is pulling this paint and blending it so this is a this is a blendy brush all right broad clumpy that's very nice interesting brush something to come back to now oily uh, this has some blendability or blending qualities it is a single um let us reset this choose another color and oh that's very nice and smooth that's that's a very nice oil brush I love brushes with this luminosity so it is very expressive it gets thick very quickly so it really layers on the paint here 
I don't know what I'm doing with this shape. But this is very nice. I don't know what I would do to get it to blend, to be honest. Probably... Uh, probably turn the blend up in this case. Ah, so what happens when you turn the blend up is that it becomes less opaque. So you really have to try out these brushes and see what they do. So it blends its own paint strokes, it looks like, and it definitely has like a a mark there, which I'll reset this. So if you go back to its defaults, it actually puts on a lot of paint. That's very interesting. And in fact, the paint darkens here. It's almost like a water. It's, it's almost a drippy brush. It's very oily. Okay, oily tapered. Let's see. Oily tapered. Let's see what happens. Here. Okay, that's another wet oily brush. Which I have reset, I think. I'd like to make this a bit bigger. I'm not going to play around too much with the blend, blend in, just in the interest of time here. But this is an oily brush that goes on. It's very expressive. Could probably use very short strokes with this, and you would find some way um, to blend these strokes in. No, they tend to maybe run away with you, so just a way of controlling this, the, the, the stroke and it, it does blend a little bit here you can see that very nice oily tapered dry grainy so let's reset this dry grainy if I understand this well should be a grainy brush that interacts with the paper grain and if I press, I get a trail off sort of. It is a dry brush compared to the others. Definitely. Let me see that. I just sampled some paint there. That is very, that's actually quite nice. I like that. Okay dry grainy paint and blend so this has got uh, this is obviously as its name says it's going to add paint and it's going to blend paint it's usually determined by if i there we go so the paint if i press so i'm not sure whether the blend comes from Okay, I've turned my brush a little bit, so it's blending, and I've turned it... Okay, so if I turn it that way, I think it's blending. And if I rotate it... Yeah, it's... This one This one takes a little bit of... Um, I think you have to learn this one. Learn what it does, learn its qualities. Uh, yeah, so you could change any of the settings here, and it will... Um, react accordingly so that one is paint and blend you can see it better with this every time you put a stroke down um, you can actually blend blend it as well if I make it a bigger brush it's going to put the paint down and I think if I make it smaller I think that's where the blending comes in that's something I have to play around with a little bit more because I'm not quite sure how that is uh, blending. I'll reset it. So dot and yeah, you can see on the this is it doing its thing. Paint and blend. Grainy blender. We're almost there. Grainy blender. That will tell me the fact it's a grainy brush. It's supposed to probably interact with the paper and the fact that it's a blender means that it would not be laying down paint I'm going to recalibrate this just in case so you can see 
it is a full um, blender blending brush I'll make it a little bit bigger and okay so it needs to because it's point it's interacting with the paper grain you can see that it gives a very uh, so this would be really good for doing things like clouds there are other brushes I would prefer to do clouds with but you know just as an example and what it is doing it's um, it is a grainy blend it's hard to explain it but uh, it is pulling the paint I don't really like this black thing that it's doing here I'm not sure why it's doing that Let's see. I know it's interacting with the paper but it looks like that that is the quality of it and why I'm not sure I'm not sure why it's bringing in this black stroke here this is the whole purpose of exploring these brushes if you have an idea why it does that hey let me know in the comments grainy blender this does have it use have its uses I like the way it's interacting with the paper just not sure about what it does at the edges here so maybe not my favorite brush a knife blender the last of our brushes let's set this reset it so it is uh, only at 20 but I do like this one um, I would use this judiciously but it is it's got an edge and it blends with that edge uh, I'm going to add a little bit of grain here Ah, you can see the grain coming through if I increase that a little bit and I'm pretty sure that there are other changes I could make to these brushes so that they could you know you could bring out even more when it comes to grain so if I do that I can you can see it's pulling that so it could give you a nice pretty nice effect here after you've laid down the uh, the the paint and I'm pretty sure if I change the recipe of the brush I'll be able to figure out how to use it okay so these are the artist oils um, very interesting set of um, uh, brushes with blenders and um, ones that lay down paint and interact with the with the texture definitely ones to play around with um, and I think they take um, they take some practice uh, and time and and getting used to. Anyway, if you've um, watched this far, thank you very much for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next vid. Bye bye. <laughs>